Hey guys, before I continue with the read aloud of James and the Giant Peach, I want to kind of go over what we read so far, what we've already heard in the classroom. It's been a bit since we saw each other, so I wanted to go over some things. And of course, there's Roald Dahl, our author, and Quentin Blake, the illustrator. They always work together. And the characters in the beginning, of course, are James Henry Trotter. He would say he's the main character. And his horrible Aunt Spiker and Aunt Sponge. We know the centipede and the silkworm, the spider. And the old green grasshopper. I believe the glowworm's there at the bottom too, and the silkworm. In the beginning, remember that James had to go live with his aunts and they lived at the top of a hill. There's the tree, the peach tree. And the top of the hill looked right over the ocean. Remember that the sea was below. You can see it down there. And James was lonely often. His aunts were not very kind to him and often just made him do chores and barely gave him any food. Didn't let him have any friends or go to the ocean or go anywhere really off of the hill so he was sad um he ran into an interesting character the old man that we decided in class was a little creepy but kind and gave him the magical whatever those were in the bag what color were they they were green and james spilled them he was supposed to mix them with water inside the house and drink it but instead he spilled them and they went into the earth um, Aunt Sponge and Aunt Spiker noticed something growing from the peach tree, which usually never grew fruit, and it was a giant peach. So after the peach grew and grew and grew, remember that Aunt Sponge and Aunt Spiker built a fence around it, and they wanted to sell tickets to come see the peach because it was so giant and everyone was very interested in seeing the peach. even helicopters up there. So then that evening, they kicked James out, didn't let him have any dinner, but made him go clean up from all the people. And James found a hole in the peach. He climbed inside and got all the way to the inside where he found a door in the pit of the peach in the middle. And this is when he meets our friends inside that were waiting for him. There's the earthworm. Remember, he can't see. He's blind. And remember that the centipede has to wear lots of boots. James had to help him, and it took a very long time to get all of his boots off. Um, the peach got rolling, and once it got rolling and off the tree, it bounced, and then now they're floating in the ocean. They had quite a trip when they were falling and falling. We meet all our characters and we find out that the centipede likes to sing songs or tell rhymes. They went up to the top of the peach to investigate and remember what was below. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. So they thought that the sharks were biting the peach and that it was going to sink. And they needed to lift the peach out of the water. Remember that James had an idea about using the silk from the silkworm and the spider to catch the seagulls and hope that the seagulls would lift the peach out of the water. Did it work? So remember that the earthworm was a little worried about that plan because he had to be the bait to get the seagulls to come down close enough for James to catch them. And it did work, and it pulled them out of the water. When it pulled them out of the water, they also learned that the sharks were not able to bite the peach after all. So the peach is still in good shape. 